Welcome back! Our topic for today is insulation monitor. Right now we have a reading about 0.2 meg means we have a low insulation resistance or layman's term grounded unit about 0.2 meg. Next scenario after I rectify that low insulation or grounded unit the insulation monitor still it has a 3 meg remaining or 3 mega ohm reading on it even though I already turned off all breakers under 220 feeder panel. Okay, let's start. The question is how we can resolve this low insulation or how can we find the grounded unit? The first step is isolation or turn by turning off the breaker one by one under 220 feeder panel. As you can see, the video shows the breakers under 220 feeder panel and then we found out that the PD-6 is the location where is the unit is grounded which is the hot water boiler in the galley How to resolve second problem after we resolve problem number one and then we have still three mega ohms reading in our insulation monitor okay the solution is we need to simulate this meter or calibrate this meter using a resistance box or decade box all we need is to remove this insulation monitor and bring it to the electrical workshop and we can check the accurate setting of this unit first we need a tester to check the contacts of this insulation monitor next this unit the brand is D E I F D. Okay, the set points relay contact and delay on. Delay on it means it has a four seconds. This is the relay contact. It's the P E. Next, the P. Then x does x3 is that 220 over or 240 volts x1 and x3 that is our supply for 220 or 240 volts this is the resistance box resistance box you can put a resistance model 1051 Our tester is connected to our relay. It is normally closed. And then resistance box connect to PE and P. Then X1 and X3 that is for 220 supply. Okay. We will check the manual. The manual said 220. Okay. Going to the indication lights, three indication lights per line. 
and then that is the push button going to the ground 6205 going to PE okay, that is for that 220 set point 50k 50 kilo ohms that is the set point for our insulation unit this is our supply AC 220 okay need to power up Okay, as you can see, the meter has a reading. Resistance box is 910. Means 910 kilo ohms. It means can set to 9 900 kilo ohms. Our decade box is maximum 900 kilo ohms. I will set this to 100 kilo ohms, means it must be at 0 0.1. Okay, then next it's 200 kilo ohms means 0 0.2 3 kilo ohms 3k 300 kilo ohms 0 0.5 means 500 kilo ohms 600 kilo ohms then 8 kilo ohms almost and then 900 okay that is our maximum we need to put to zero pointer is zero okay our meter is set in the right right value Okay, the warning is the indicator, indicator for the set point. If the set point is 50 kilo ohms, it means after the set point is reached, the warning is light up. The maximum is almost 999. That is 50. Yes, it's 50. 50k. Right now, the set point we need to check. Okay, the pointer is at the 50 because our resistance box value is 50k. go at the back the dial is pointing 50 kilo ohms but 
need the indicator is 50 kilo ohms times 10 it means 500 if you set 5k times 10 equals 500 kilo ohms in a resistance resistance box we need to set 500 to activate this alarm at the manual set to 500k it means times 10 500 ohms okay put it to for 50 need to put 500 500 okay 500k it means if you set to 50k times 10 equals 500 the warning must light up okay the contact is still normally closed if it is triggered yes that's it that is that the contact is changed it means it is activated 50 I slightly increase the dial to 50 up and then check the contacts when the contact is changed that is the 50 kilo ohms it means times 10 equals 500 kilo ohms okay. I put to 600 but the warning is still indicated I adjust lightly go down okay that's it seven hundred which means it's good the activated set point is five hundred Six five one two three four almost it has a delay it has a delay of four seconds I'll show you later where is the where is the set point for delay Okay. if it is 600 it means the warning indicator is not light up because the value right now is 600 kilo ohms the warning is not indicated try to go up 510 okay 510 it's it is activated and the contact is triggered okay again 400 300 the warning is still indicated we'll go up to 600 okay the warning is gone because the value is 600 okay we check again 50 kilo ohms times 10 means 500 K okay. okay 50 50 times 10 equals 500 
the set point is already set at the 50 k and then we will open this monitor at the back you see delay on it means four seconds this one zero second zero second four seconds you can remove that that jumper pin put to set to zero second okay that's it if you don't want a delay this jumper pin put at the zero okay power up that is set to 500 okay the warning light is lights up and it's already activated 600 1 2 3 4 600 ah, okay 600 I see 600 it has a delay because our jumper pin set to 4 seconds delay Okay, we will try to set to zero. Put the jumper pin at the zero, zero second selection. Power up. need to activate to 500 k 600 that is 600 and then go to 5 okay automatic the warning is lights up immediately okay you see the warning indicator our pin right now is at zero seconds. Our problem is solved. Our meter is calibrated and free from grounded unit. First grounded unit, we need to replace heating coil to solve this problem. And then second, need to calibrate this meter so that it will alarm in its set point thanks for watching if you like this video click thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button for more updates i hope this video helped you a lot thank you very much